Youth unemployment worldwide is a major problem. By 2010, there were over 1 billion young people who were unemployed. In Ghana specifically, there's over 52% graduate unemployment. In the rural context, this is a huge challenge for young people because of the lack of access to higher education, the lack of access to opportunities. So this is even much more staggering when you come to the rural communities. For rural young women, they face the most disadvantage when it comes to unemployment. This is particularly so because um, in rural communities, the gender roles that women play really affects their opportunities when it comes to having access to land, when it comes to access to financing, when it comes to access to um, skills development. All these are huge challenges for rural young women. The Common Network was formed to support rural young women to have a platform of peer support. It was also formed to enable Comfort to channel resources and support to these young women to help them to bring about the change that they want to see in their communities. The Innovation Bursary Program was designed to create jobs and prosperity in rural communities. It's a pilot program that would support a hundred new businesses to be set up. And the young women of the Kama Network who were selected to be part of this program showed a lot of passion and promise of wanting to see change in their communities where they could create employment and opportunities for others. The government is no longer able to employ the youth. So the only way out is youth entrepreneurship, to equip the youth with entrepreneurial skills, to mentor them, coach them, and then give them all the necessary support for them to establish their enterprises on their own. The program offers young women training in entrepreneurship, bookkeeping, marketing, packaging, all the different um, skills and knowledge that they would need to set up their businesses. The program also provides mentoring, which is very specialized. So they have mentors within the same sector supporting them and having regular interactions with them to help them to launch and grow their businesses. The approach that Comfort has adopted is very fantastic in the sense that uh, they adopt a holistic approach. That is, all stakeholders are involved. Comfort does not pick the girl in isolation. They pick the girl alongside with the family, the community, and then the entire environment. So whatever is going on is known to the community in which the girl lives, as compared to other programs which develop the individual in isolation. You are breaking boundaries. You are doing things that people haven't done before. Things that people said would come back. I think this program has huge potential. The program has the potential to regenerate rural communities. We're looking at having over 100,000 Kama members by 2018. Imagine all these young women having the confidence and the courage to start their own businesses in their rural communities. Businesses that are addressing the needs of their own communities, solving real problems that they have been facing for generations. I'm a businesswoman. I'm selling solar products. 
The reason why I went in for solar products is that I was working in the hospital and I was in the consulting room with the doctor. I realized that most patients were coming with the problem of uh, open lamps. One lady left her children in the room. Then, unfortunately, one of the kids kicked the lamps and then the whole place was fire. And as the result of that, she lost her child. I felt very bad. I said, oh, what will I do to help people so that they can also get light without using kerosene lamps? I didn't know where to turn to. And then I heard that uh, Comfort was bringing now an innovation basil program. I was so excited. I said, ah, I've, got, I've gotten my dream. This will really support me to do what I wanted to do. Good afternoon, my brothers. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Let's assume that you are there and you don't have solar lamp and then uh, you'll be compelled to use open lamps, like Wambongas. I hope you all know, yeah, it. We know it. I was sent to Grameen Ghana to go and learn about the solar products. Grameen Ghana, they are into microfinance, but they have a department which deal with solar lamps. Sowa went through an intensive training while she was with us in Grameen. The trainings Sowa benefited from were in two levels. One, was the practical training which includes the theory of marketing products. The other had to do with hand-holding training on the job. When you are using this, it can bring down your cost of paying for the electricity. Internships are very important to this program. They provide the young women with the practical knowledge and skills that they require to get their business off the ground. Um, a lot of the young women are venturing into new areas, areas where they themselves have not never been before. So having the practical experience really helps them to be able to have the confidence to go forward. I learned a lot there how to operate my solar products, how to relate with my customers, and then how to keep records whenever I sell. After the train, I was having few money with me. It was not enough. I went to Grameen Ghana and told them my intention. I didn't have money. And they told me that they could give me some of the, some few lambs to go and sell. And after which I can bring back their money. Mm. Sola did something that was quite innovative. For people that she was able to build trust and confidence, she provided the products for them on some kind of credit basis and she provides some kind of guarantee that as you pay when the product has default, she would help you fix it. And so that motivated a lot of people to patronize the products from her. As a result, Sowa happens to be one of the best entrepreneurs ever worked with Graminga. There are power rationing sometimes. So when this happens, the students are compelled to use certain lamps, which cause more harm to their health. I sat down and said, what can I do in order to promote my business and also to help students who cannot afford the small systems? Now I go to communities, to speak to them about solar, about big systems, so that they can have it in their school and the students will benefit. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. I'm Sohu Alassan, a Kama member. I'm an entrepreneur who deals in solar lamps. I have five siblings. Among them, I'm the only person who went to school. My last brother, he's been sick for about five years now. So when I had this business, I brought one of his kids, and she's now living with me. She can just come from school, oh auntie, they say we should bring this, we should bring that, then through this business, I've been able to provide her needs for her. It's 
initially, I was selling my solar product door to door. Now I want to go into the rural areas so that they can buy the bigger systems and install in their schools, mugs and churches. I think if I'm able to sell more of the big systems to the communities, I'm going to be a real businesswoman. This business has changed my life. At first, I could not even stand before four to five people and speak. But now, I can organize a whole community. Even if it is thousands of people, I can stand before them to sell my products. This last year, Webby Solar was very interesting because my sales was down due to the financial constraint in my community. Almost all of them showed interest in it, but due to the financial constraint, they were not able to purchase. I sat back and thought, now that my people cannot purchase my products, why not give it to them on a credit basis? I tried that for a while, about six months. It got to the time that when you go to them, they will be giving you stories upon stories. I need to pay my child school fees, and I don't have enough money, so I cannot pay you for the product. I said, okay, if I don't bring out a new idea, it will drag my business back. I thought of bringing a new business idea that will help me to help the people of my community. I started with condiments which comprises of granite paste, granite oil, aguishi powder, dawa dawa, pepper, and niri paste. I'm doing my condiment business side by side with solar because I've realized that I need to be patient with the solar. The innovation based program has helped me a lot. What I learned in the solar business that is what I applied on the condom business. Records keeping, good relationship with my customers, how to approach them, good marketing, a whole lot of things. I have added more value to my products in such a way that when I pick my raw materials, we do sorting. After the sorting, I wash it, we roast it, and then send it to mail, granny mail. My husband will come and help me in the kitchen. Then we do the packaging. Impact I had of becoming a, a businesswoman, I can't even describe it. Now I'm the breadwinner of my family, my husband, my children, and those who I'm taking care of. We all eat from this business. And I also pay my children's school fees from it because presently my husband is unemployed. And I've also served as a role model in my community because I have people working under me. In the next five years, I would like to expand my business. I would like to export my products internationally because we have a lot of wonderful food in Ghana especially in the north. I have a very big dream about this business. I would like to go to the organizations who sponsor students. I will write proposal to them. I will go around and speak to them about solar so that they can buy the solar lamps for the students they are helping. I would like to have people working under me, especially young girls. They will be going to the rural areas and I'll also teach them how to do installation and I'll be paying them. It will help them to be independent. Through the payment, they can also use it to support their younger ones in their house. When I was a child, I suffered a lot. And this program, the Innovation Based Program, have really helped me a lot in economically. It has wiped my tears. 
That is why I'm running these two businesses to enable me to also employ young women to be economically independent, to wipe their tears as mine have been wiped today.